Hey guys, so ranking number one in Google in Firefox sounds like a dream, but it is actually possible with something called Claude Artifacts. In this video, I'm going to show you how I create ranking Claude Artifacts in a matter of minutes. So my name is Jesper Nissen, and I'm the owner and founder of Schema Writer, the uh, topmost platform in the internet today to create schema, and Yax, the topmost platform today to create cloud links. And today I'm going to show you how I create Claude Artifacts with ranking content and um, for the purpose of this video today I'm going to create a Claude Artifact page that has the potential to rank on page one in Google for the uh, branded search term YAX. So if I go to Firefox here and I search for Scheme Writer, you'll actually notice when you scroll down that the uh, Claude Artifact I made about Schema Writer AI last week is ranking number two. So number one is of course my own website and then the video carousel here and then Claude number two or getting search result above these Facebook page and some other pages. The ambition for today is to create a Claude Artifact that has the potential to rank just as high for just for the search term YAX. So ranking number one today for YAX is yax.site. Number two is the YouTube channel here, and then the uh, Facebook page for Yax, and then the video carousel, and then the trust pilots. But uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's see uh, how high we can go with this Claude artifact. So I'm starting out by identifying the search term that I want to rank for. That's Claude artifact, and I will, uh, for the purpose of finding the entities that I want to include in my content, I will use Schema Writer. So I log into Schema Writer, I click Generate New. And this is my keywords, and my company is Yax, and my URL is uh, the homepage. Let me find this. So that's the homepage, and I'll just click generate. So now Schema Writer goes out and scrapes the top 10 websites, also scrapes the uh, Yax website, and it will then identify the ranking entities that I can introduce and include in my content in order for it to rank. Let me just click pause, and let's return when it's done. So now that it's done, let me click view and let me click uh, content. And uh, now I can see that uh, it has identified all of the ranking entities that I can include in my content. So I click download the entities and I can then open this guy here, control A, control C and go over to ChatGPT. So uh, that was step one, collecting the entities. Step two is creating the ranking article. and the way that I normally create ranking articles is I ask ChatGPT. I don't use Claude to write articles like this. I know that many of you prefer to use Claude. I just prefer to use ChatGPT because I know ChatGPT. I know how it writes and I know what its weaknesses and strengths are. And I'm just used to using ChatGPT. And uh, also, I mean, you can use ChatGPT for free. Uh, you also can use Claude for free, but the limits for Claude is much lower for the free the free usage. So um, I do have a paid uh, subscription to ChatGPT though. But anyway, so what I will do is I will ask ChatGPT, please read this text. And then I will simply copy the entire text of this page. Doot. And I'll probably just, uh, that's what I always do, I just delete the uh, menu. So there's no reason to uh, have that. And I will uh, keep the footer. Good. So now ChatGPT will read this. And uh, being that uh, ChatGPT knows me and uh, memory is um, activated in this account, of course it does know that I'm the owner and founder of Yax, and then it just summarizes. So I will now give it my entities, copy, uh, root, just click stop here, Doot. no need for further uh, elaboration. Please read this list of entities and provide me with the, the most relevant and entities for the text you just read. Good. 
So now ChatGPT will use its brain to filter out the unrelevant entities and find the most relevant entities. And this is what we have. So that's step two. And the uh, last step is asking ChatGPT to write a uh, landing page text that is supposed to promote JAX. And uh, also I will ask uh, ChatGPT to, to include the highly relevant entities in this text. So uh, yeah, let's get started. I would like for like for you to in to write a landing page text for Yax. I would like the focus to be on Yax as the leading mass page AI mass page builder and cloud link builder I want you to include the let's see what it says the highly relevant entities hi the NCTs from the list above. Dude. So let's see what it does. Here's a conversion focused landing page draft for YAX, highlighting it as the leading AI mass page builder and cloud link builder. So uh, while it is uh, working, let me click pause. And now it's done. Let's see. <clears throat> Yax, the leading AI mass page builder and cloud link builder, dominates search engine optimization with AI and cloud power. So uh, this text is, I think it looks nice. So I think I will probably ask it for a bit longer. Is your rich converse version? I want you, you to make it a bit longer. Yes, because it's asking me if I want a longer SEO rich version for maximum keyword coverage. So yes. So what I will do now is I will copy this text. Doot, doot, doot. And I will go to Claude. So now I'm logged into my Claude account and we have this thing called artifacts. So I will click new artifacts. I will click uh, apps and websites. I will now write to Claude, uh, please create a catchy landing page meant to promote X. Use my article below as the text. I want you to insert a link to the X home page oh, yes. and then I will uh, insert the uh, text from ChatGPT and click start and let's see what it does perfect I can see that you want a compelling landing page to promote Yax the AI mass page builder and cloud link builder based on your content blah 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 I won't even bother reading it I will just say yes let's just see what it does drafting artifacts. I'll just click pause and then I'll just return when it's done. So now that it's done, I can uh, click uh, publish and I'm not going to use this this version just yet because I just want to see what it looks like. Start building now. Yeah, so that's the link to X. And I think that this is, I didn't notice this in uh, chat GPT, but I think that this is a little bit too short of a text so I think I'll ask Yax or I was th sorry, I think I'll ask uh, Claude to elaborate on the text. Could you please elaborate on this landing base text? I think it's much too short. Use browsing to visit yax.site for more details. Dude, let's see what it does. So I already published 
one version now, right? Because I clicked the publish button, right? So one thing that you should know is that when I click this publish button, I got this URL. And now I'm making edits. So you need to realize and understand and remember so that when you're when you're creating edits like what I'm I'm creating an edit, right? So an edited landing page. When you're creating a new version of the landing page, you will actually get a new version of the URL. So you cannot copy this URL, send it to an indexing service or tweet it, go back to Claude, create or ask it to add more text and then go back and it's the same URL. That's not the case. Uh, it will actually create a new URL each time that you click publish. That's just a thing to keep in mind. But uh, let me click pause until it's done. All right, so now it's done in the new version. Let's click publish just to uh, inspect what it looks like. And let me copy this link. So this is the new version. Start building now. Yep. Learn more. Ah, learn more shouldn't be linked to uh, linked to Claude artifacts. So yeah, so it's a good idea to scroll down and just to inspect if there are outgoing links, are they actually pointing to the correct destination? Because I mean, Claude is a machine, right? So it doesn't understand, doesn't know anything. So learn more. You can see that it's actually pointing to a subdomain of Claude. That's that's not what we want, right? One thing I could actually do is I could ask it to grab the logo from Yax. I don't know if it wants to do that because as you can see, Yax is actually registered trademark. So let's, uh, let's actually see. So we have two, the learn more should not point to Claude, it should point to X. And we want to use the logo writing here. I want you to use the logo from the X site. I also want you to insert link to on the button learn more. Dude, so, but let's see here. It updated and at least now it includes the link to yx.site. And uh, I don't see that it actually figured out how to grab my logo, but I guess that's fine. So now I'm done actually, and it is published. So I can just copy this link, dude. And it will be interesting to see how this will rank. And uh, let's get back in a couple of days tomorrow or the day after let's see uh, how high it ranks but uh, this is the ul so now there are two steps or actually one step left and that is how to get this indexed and uh, what i do is i use a guy called rabbit ul indexer and i use a guy called speedlinks so these are the two indexing services that i use and uh, one more thing that you could also do if you have a an x account or a reddit subreddit what you could do is you could make a post about this page and then share this link because if uh, you know who knows it might get crawled that's uh, that's what i do so uh, i do a combination of these two number one i send them the link to the indexing services and number two i share it on x because it does help indexing so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video guys let's get back tomorrow or the day after and see how high this rank if it indexes who knows got Take care. See you in the next one.